Welcome back to my workshop. Now, a little while ago, in my, one of my last videos, uh, I was talking about me getting a new video camera, uh, but I didn't have enough money. So basically, I've got together all of the money I had, and I managed to buy this. Some toilet rolls. This. It's a Sony HDR CX450. One of these. Okay, so let's get it out of the box very quickly. Right, so let's have a look what we got here. <clears throat> now I needed a new video camera and basically what I want to do is prove to see whether this is better or worse than the camera I'm using here, which is actually a phone, which is a uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So what I want to do is not go into too much detail with the unboxing, uh, but I just want to do some trials to see if this is better than my phone. Okay, so what we got here is a Sony HDR CX450 uh, Handycam. Uh, bought it from Argos. Uh, it cost me £219. Well, it didn't. It cost me £119 because I used some nectar points. Uh, on the box, we have some features here, which is uh, optical steady shot, uh, some highlight movie maker. These are some optional extras, a battery, a charger, and a case. Uh, some of the functions here. Uh, 9.2 megapixel still image. Uh, I won't be using this camera for still images. Uh, I'll use my phone for that. Uh, 60 times clear image zoom. Now I don't think that's all 60 times optical zoom. I think some of that is digital, uh, which will check that out. Uh, it's got a wide angle lens, time lapse capture, which I will use for my videos. At the moment I'm using a little, little pretend GoPro uh, and it's got a 5.1 channel microphone. Okay, so these should all be good things. The things I'm, on here I'm interested in is the obviously the full HD, uh, the micro SD and XC card, so we can have higher capacity cards. Obviously, multi HDMI, HDMI, and the 5.1 surround sound, 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 sound. Okay, all the rest of it, um, I'm probably not too worried about it. The Zeiss is the type of camera lens it has, um, and a lot of the other things are just basically telling you what they are. This is the type of sensor. Okay, let's get this box open and see what's inside. Okay, it comes sealed. Let's quickly open this in a very health and safety non-conscious kind of way. Uh, as I say, there are millions of videos on YouTube of people unboxing these, so I won't go into too much detail on the unboxing. Um, some paperwork, some more paperwork, uh, a little operator's manual, which is in English, luckily. Yes, that's good. Okay. What do we get in the box? In the box we get a UK standard plug, okay, USB, okay, three pin US, UK standard plug, uh, a USB extension lead, USB female, USB male, uh, HDMI mini and HDMI standard, so you can take the video from directly from the camera straight into another another TV or something. Uh, get a battery, which I understand is not charged when you first get it, so we'll have to charge that. Let's have a quick look here. 7.3 volts, 950 milliamp hour hours. Uh, but obviously on the back, it shows you there's the option of a higher capacity battery. Right, the actual camera itself, nothing else in the box there. Throw that away. Actual camera itself, the first thing you notice is it's really light, it's really small. Okay, it comes in a nice funky bag. I mean, that's, that's tiny. Okay, very light. Obviously, it hasn't got a battery on it at the moment. Um, I won't go through all the menus and everything because obviously the battery needs charging. Uh, what I'm interested in is whether this is as good as my phone. Okay, so let me get the battery charged up and then we'll quickly have a look. Okay. Okay, so I've now charged up the battery on this thing, uh, which didn't take too long, but it's fully charged now. Um, just have a quick look at some of the main components on here. Uh, this is obviously the screen, which flicks out like this. As soon as you flick it out, it turns on. Uh, also, on the front, this is the obviously the lens cover. Uh, as soon as you flick out the screen, 
nothing happens. The lens cover opens. Let's try that again. As soon as you flip out the screen, the lens cover opens. Okay, uh, here you have your microphones. Uh, there's the, obviously, the little Zeiss type of lens. Uh, it's near field communication, so if you um, are going to use near field, it does work. Uh, I won't be using that. Uh, it just tells you it's micro SD type of card. Under here, you have a multi connection. Now, this is similar to what I've got on the Samsung phone. Um, on here, we have obviously the start and stop record. Uh, and down here, we have a DC in connection. Okay. Uh, here, we have the main, this is built in, so it's not separate. You can't pull this out. This is uh, a USB lead which actually fits into the handle, which is very handy. Uh, now obviously you could plug that straight into your laptop or your computer, or you can use the um, USB extension lead that they supplied with it. Uh, but this just literally plugs into this little hole here, which is a nice little design feature. Obviously standard sort of carrying handle. Uh, as I say on the back, we've got start stop here and then the DC in. Um, battery battery releases on the bottom uh, you literally just push it down and then slide the battery off and then slide the battery back on okay um, on the top we have uh, the zoom function um, and also a stills photo button okay uh, no shoe on here uh, the shoe is obviously what you have on top of a, a normal SLR or DSLR camera uh, or video camera for mounting a microphone or a flashlight or something like that. But there's none on here. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, right, inside, so as soon as you open it up, the screen comes on. Um, and what we have here, the buttons you have inside is the on-off button. So you can actually turn it off with the screen still open. Okay, and back on again. Uh, you have a play button, which is for playing the media you've recorded. So I'll push that and it's gone straight on to video. Um, under here you have this, I think it's an, a voice counseling. So if you're behind the camera, so if you're using it video in like this, and you're speaking, if you have this turned on, uh, what this does, it will um, basically mute out your voice. So you'll be able to still hear the voice is whatever from the front, but not from the back. It's quite good. Um, very small speaker, so obviously when you're playing the back through this, it does sound a little tinny. Uh, in here, we have our HDMI output. It's an HDMI mini here. Uh, that'll obviously plug into the lead they supplied, which you can then plug into your TV. Uh, also here, we have a little micro SD card. Now, if you're just using this standard kind of SD card, it goes with the copper side down. Okay, just put it in, because it is possible to actually put the card in up the wrong way. Okay, so that's in, and it's now seeing the media that's on there. Uh, here you have, this is one benefit of having a camcorder. Uh, you actually get a microphone in and an earphone out connections. Okay, 3.5 millimeter jacks, microphone at the top, headphones at the bottom. Uh, one thing I noticed with this, obviously I plugged in my um, lapel microphone and it has this type of connector and that didn't work. And what you need, so my microphone has this type of connector, which has got the four rings on it. You actually need this type, which has only got the three rings on it. Otherwise it doesn't work as a microphone. Okay, just something I noticed. Now for me, I just use this little adapter I have uh, and it basically converts the three rings to the four rings. Then I can use my normal microphone. Okay, so that's a quick overview. Um, the menus, they are all fairly self-explanatory. Um, it basically shooting mode. You can check, uh, select whether you have movies, photos or time-lapse. Time-lapse I probably will have or I will use and you can set how many frames or how many seconds it takes per frame. Okay, uh, 
quality and image size obviously depends on whether you're videoing or whether you're taking photographs you can adjust it there um, the menu is basically uh, usual x will close the menu uh, wireless you can set it up so you can uh, control it with your uh, smartphone um, and other wi-fi functions uh, i probably won't do that but you can if you wanted to uh, okay playback function yeah it's just literally the same as pushing this button here um, for playing back videos um, back to the menu editing copy so if you want to delete some files on the camera you can do it here and set up is your basic setups for format etc okay um, but back to the home menu you can I think you can customize what um, buttons you have on the side here uh, but if I wanted to go uh, on back to the video just push it at the bottom here and that's recording I've still got it set at uh, time-lapse video if I didn't want that I can go back to not that one silly boy back to this one back to movie and just back on normal movie so these menus here I think you can change um, I'll probably leave it as it is a standard right, if you look here you can see as I'm speaking um, you can hear the microphone I've got it set to two channels um, so I don't you can have that set to 5.1 but I'm probably just going to stick the two channels okay um, again here you have uh, a zoom function on the touch screen which is a lot slower but it does give it a time to focus whereas if you use this one here oh not that one if you use that one it's a lot faster but it can take time to focus okay it's got a steady shot so if you are jiggling it about a bit the image is quite stable right what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a little jig so I can actually mount this next to my phone uh, on the same on the same platform uh, so then I can do some sample videos and we can see the difference and see if this is going to work for me <laughs> Okay, so this is the first test. Uh, let me show you what we've got. I'm going to record what I'm seeing on my little pretend GoPro. Okay, okay. So, so what I've got, got here is I've got, got my film. No, I haven't. I've got my phone here and the camera here mounted at the same point filming exactly the same thing. And what they can see is this. Okay, right, so this one that I'm pointing at here, that is my phone, this one is the Sony camcorder. Okay, both with standard microphones, no external inputs, um, both exactly the camera, the video camera is the one straight out of the box, haven't changed any of the settings, and the phone is how I would normally use it. Okay, and that's on the forward facing camera. Okay. So, let's try a couple of experiments. Uh, right, fast movement. Did it get me? Back. Right, okay. Um, now, let's have a look how stable it is. I'm gonna literally pick it up and move it around. Okay, so, and turn it around. These should be exactly the same. Okay, video vlogging type of malarkey. Now it seems to me that the camcorder is slightly lighter than my phone. How does it deal with light? Let's have a look. Okay, a little bit of bleed out on the uh, on the phone there. Seems to be okay still on the camcorder. Uh, what if I shake? Uh, right, I'm shaking. Right. Oh, that's impressive. Now the phone is going all over the place, but the camcorder isn't. Okay, let's put it back down again. Right, so how wide angle is it? Now on my phone, go on, sit still. On my phone, obviously here, I can see from the door here 
to my drill on the camcorder I can't see all of the door and I definitely can't see my drill okay so it appears that the phone has got a slightly wider angle than the camcorder okay let's try some sound tests <laughs> So this is the Samsung phone uh, with the microphone. This is my normal lapel microphone that I normally wear. Let's put this on. So that's with the microphone, without the microphone, with the microphone. Okay, a quick microphone test on the uh, Sony camcorder. Now this is with the lapel mic. Let's disconnect it. Is that plugged back in? That's no, plugged back in. Okay, so it looks like as soon as you disconnect the microphone, it's already assuming it's got a microphone connected, so you end up with no audio. Okay, so slightly different than the phone. But how's the audio quality? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now on to the camcorder. Now this is without the microphone. See how that sounds. Okay, so a quick test here. Uh, this is what I would normally do if I'm doing some, some woodworking stuff. Uh, I'm right up close to the band, so I've actually got the cameras on. Let's get myself in shots. Here we go. I've got both the cameras on the bed plate of the bandsaw. Just going to cut a piece of wood and let's see what it's like with vibration and stability. How was that? Okay, I'm now on the uh, Samsung Galaxy, zoomed in as close as I can get onto the bandsaw with the phone. Let's see what this is like. Okay, so now a similarly framed shot on the uh, Sony camcorder. Not zoomed in fully, but it's a similar shot. Okay, a quick zoom test, just the length of the workshop on the Sony camcorder. I'm using the screen to control this, so it's fairly smooth, rather than me shaking it all over the place. Okay, zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, so that's maximum zoom. Okay, and then back out using the controls on top of the camera. Okay, now let's do the same. Okay, same zoom test uh, using the phone. Now, obviously I've got to do this on the screen, so probably not as smooth. Okay, and that's maximum zoom. Okay, let's stabilize. And then zoom it back out again. 
Okay, let's back out. Okay, one more last little test here. Uh, I've come outside to see what it looks like with uh, daylight. Now, obviously, the Sony looks like I'm still quite white, so possibly the white balance needs adjusting on that, but that's as it come out of the box. Uh, right, let's have a look. Okay, so into the sun, how does that deal with that? Okay, arm's length. Just have a spin around here. See which one we think is better. Okay, that'll do. Right, so that's it. Let's make up our minds. Okay, so that's it. That's all the testing done. Uh, now, obviously, what I wanted to find out was whether this Sony camcorder was any better than my phone for making videos for YouTube. Uh, and I think the bottom line is a combination of both. Now this obviously is what I've been using for all my videos so far, uh, and it's been fine. Um, sometimes it's not been as good as I want, but video quality is good, sound quality is good, uh, and still photos are excellent on this. Okay, this is a Samson S7 Edge. Um, now obviously the, this new camcorder, uh, is it any better than that? Well, uh, yes and no. Uh, I think ease of use, my phone is probably easier because that's what I'm used to. Uh, but I should imagine this <coughs> would eventually become as easy to use. Uh, it's got a forward facing screen so I can use it effectively, the same as I use my phone. Um, the zoom is fantastic. As you see from the zoom test, great, it's fantastic. The stability control, so if you're moving it around, um, the stability control is really good. Uh, I think with this, because I've just taken it straight out of the box, I haven't adjusted anything. I think if I adjusted the white balance, uh, it would be even better. Um, so that I have to play with. Uh, but overall, I think it's looking like it's gonna be a good addition. So I think what I'll do is I'll use a combination of this and my phone, uh, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, but overall, um, as I say, it was £219. Um, I used some vouchers that I had, so I got it for £119. Should be okay. I think it might be vulnerable to a little bit of dust, even though it's got the uh, closing lens cover. Uh, I think in a dusty environment, it probably won't fare too well. Uh, but nothing fares very well. My phone's already cracked. Okay. So, uh, would I recommend getting one of these? Yes, I probably would. Um, it looks like it's gonna be really good. As I say, the zoom is fantastic. Um, it did seem to suffer a bit with high, um, high frequency vibrations. So having it on a tool when you're using it, it doesn't deal with that very well. You probably saw it from the video. As soon as the vibrations start, it goes a bit blurry. So I think it depends on what frequency it's working at. Um, it can go a bit blurry but normal stability control is fantastic. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it was a pain to make the video because the amount of editing to get the two cameras going at the same time, but I hope it gave you a better idea and a direct comparison. Okay, thank you very much for watching and join me in the next video and I'll see you later. Bye. Is I've got my film no, I haven't. I've got my phone. Right, so let's set some languages. Uh, can we do this? Oh, yeah, turn it around. Um, this was any better than this Sony camcorder that I bought. How was that?